Hey, hi everybody, Grandma Diane here. It's time for Grandma Diane's story time. I have a great book for you today. It's called Bats at the Ball Game. And now with our series going again, or our, our baseball teams playing again, I thought it'd be kind of fun to read Bats at the Ball Game. And this book is written by Brian Lies, and he is also the illustrator. So here we go, bats at the ball game. Ooh, love the color. I love that green. Green is my favorite color. <laughs> All right, bats at the ball game by Brian Lee, and this is published by Houghton Mifflin Books for Children. Cool. <laughs> it says for my father-in-law Sam Keith, who missed seeing his team take the series, but never stopped believing. And thanks to Stephen Krasner for deepening my understanding of baseball. That's a cool picture. <laughs> Makes it look like it's an old, old picture. All right, here we go. Dust, dusk creeps in and day is done. The last few rays of stubborn sun cling to the hilltop tree and town. We wish that we could push it down. Hmm. They want it to stay. No, I guess they want it to go, don't they? They want to push it down. Restless wings begin to itch. Excitement's at a fever pitch. At last it's time, and with a sigh, we hustle out to Diamond Sky. Hurry up. Come one, come all. We're off to watch the bats play ball. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How could any bat forget in all the countless years we've met? It seems the team will play tonight has beaten us in every flight, fight. Looks like they might be at a circus or a fair, doesn't it? There's the Ferris wheel. And this looks like a merry-go-round over here, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, and here's, here's that... Um, that it swings, remember? And it goes around and the swings come out. How fun. Pony rides, it said. Hmm. We won't be having many of those this summer because of COVID, will we? Ah, oh, it says fried dough, garlic fries, hot dogs. Hmm. We wing from dark to dazzling bright startled by the stunning light of colors like we've never seen. The brown so brown, the green so green. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're inside a tent, doesn't it? Or under an awning, tent awning. A flying vendor flutters near. Moth dogs, get your moth dogs here. Raise a wing and catch a snack. Perhaps you'd like some cricket jack. <laughs> Not cracker jacks, but cricket jacks. We show our tickets, find our places, watch the grounds clue, crew lay the bases. They roll the foul lines, rake the mound, shape the field, and smooth the ground. Mm. Excitement, huh? What do you think they're doing here? Yeah, I bet they are too, singing the national anthem. Sudden silence, then a cheer. Hooray, the baseball bats are here. A bat star sings our anthem song. With wing on heart, we sing along. And when she's done, the umpire cries, Welcome, fans, and now play ball. <laughs> Something changes with those words. We feel a magic shift and ride the currents of the game as time is set adrift. At first, we're full of reckless joy. Their batters strike out fast. But when our batters strike out too, our laughter doesn't last. Hmm, I guess not. Our players muddle through the game from inning two through five with nothing chalked up in the sixth. They haven't come alive. They don't look very happy. Our team is not winning. 
but in the seventh, signs of life. Too bad it's not our team. Their fearless flyer cruises home and tramples on our dream. Hmm. We find a golden moment in the middle of it all. The batter swings, it's going foul. We reach and catch the ball. Well, that's kind of fun. Oh, hang me up in the rafters, hang me up by the toes, buy me some peanuts and beanuts and, and cricket jacks. Oh, you know what they're singing there? They're singing, take me out to the ball game but only they're singing it. Oh, hang me up in the rafters, hang me up by the toes, buy me some beanuts and cricket jack. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Get it going, throw a strike. We flap and howl and frown. The seventh inning stretch, stretch arrives at last to cool us down. We shake our feet and raise our wings, voices high and strong. Together, all the fans belt out the famous bat ball song. Then back at bat, our batters swing, but can't gain any ground. There doesn't seem to be a way to turn this game around. Hmm. Grand bats talk of better times, of fields and heroes past. Their thoughts slide homeward through the years. across eternal grass. So they're thinking about their baseball team through the years, right? And this is now over here. And as the pictures get darker and more like black and white, they're thinking about the past. Then crack, the echo rockets round and yanks us to today. The bat at bat has smashed the ball, its cover torn away. Oh my goodness. Our flyer swoops from base to base, and if he scores, we're tied. And now the play is at the plate, and now the bats collide. So was the flyer safe? Or did the catcher have the ball? When the dust has settled down, the umpire makes the call. Oh, what's he going to say? Out! The crowd erupts and hollers. No, you've lost your mind. Can't you see the bat was safe? Fire the ump. He's blind. And now the pressure's really on. It's here, our final out. It's two bats down and one on first, and fans are full of doubt. He swings, connects, and bloops to left, and there the flyers go. The fielder drives to stop the ball and gets back up to throw. Oh, no. The play is to second. There it goes. It hits that pesky pole. It ricochets to center field and, bouncing, finds a hole. Our flyers streak around the field. The crowd lets out a roar. Look at all the bats. Look at them all there to watch the game. Oh my goodness, I never noticed that before. Wow, they must have a sellout crowd. The throw to home is not in time and both our flyers score. That's it, we won, can you believe? Now nothing can erase the thrill that thunders in our hearts, the grin on every face. <laughs> it's always fun to win, isn't it, to be on the winning team? But in the east, the skies aflame, we feel ejected from the game. Still astonished that we won, we speed to beat the rising sun. Yeah, bats usually aren't out during the daytime, are they? Just at night, and look at them all flying off here. Can you see that? See them all taking off? All the spectators and the team. Safe at home, we settle in and talk about our thrilling win. 
till one by one we slide away and silently relive each play. In our dreams, that perfect green, our refuge from the drab routine of headlong flutter, flurried flight until another baseball night. Until again, we hear the call. Welcome, fans, and now, say it with me, play ball. <laughs> How many of you play ball? I know Eli, Eli plays on a team. And this is a picture of Brian Lies, who is both the author and the illustrator. He's written others at, like Bats at the Beach and Bats at the Library. Sounds kind of fun. Today, though, we've read Bats at the Ball Game, and I liked it. How about you? Well, tomorrow is Tuesday, and hang on. Tomorrow, we're going to read Families, Families, Families by Susan Lang and Max Lang. I think we've read some by them before. So that's for tomorrow, and that, that will be at 11 o'clock. Now, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Grandma Diane is not going to be on the air. So you will hear me tomorrow on Tuesday, but not on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Guess what? I'm taking a little vacation going up north to my brother's cabin. Should be a fun time, I'm looking forward to it. Summer is, is vacation time, I hope you get to get away too for a little bit. So tomorrow will be my last day for a while, but I will be back next Monday, bright and early, <laughs> not so bright and early, 11 o'clock. I laugh because that's kind of bright and early for me, I love to sleep in. So I will see you tomorrow for families, 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 and then not until Monday. So think about Bats at the Ball Game, our good story that we read today, and we will see you tomorrow morning at 11 for Grandma Diane's story time. Bye now.